So we have to discuss talking about the a question mark. Question mark is an easy um, punctuation mark, Malak, but you have to be careful if you want to use the question mark with the quotation marks. Absolutely, we will discuss that into detail. So let me say that we have finished, we have finished talking about the period, the comma, the semicolon, the colon, exclamation mark, no brackets, no, but it is easy. The dash, no, it is really easy. Yes, the apostrophe, the slash, the ellipses, and the hyphen. Ah, we have finished talking about the quotation marks. So we still have th these three punctuation marks. I told you that they are the easiest. So today we have to discuss talking about the question mark. As I told you, the question mark is really easy, but you have to be careful while using it with quotation marks. So you know the uh, question mark, this is it. And now let's discuss the rules of using the question mark. So rule number one is saying, I have to use a question mark after a direct question. So these are the WH tools that I have to use for asking questions. So notice that we have who, what, where, when, why, which, whose, and how. So these are the WH tools that I have to use for asking questions. So this is the example. If you want to use one of them, and the example is saying, what is your name? So absolutely, I have to use the question mark, who is that man? This is the question mark. Where should we go? Question mark, because it is a question. How are you? A question mark. And finally, do you like sushi? So this is the first tool and the easiest tool, I think. Okay, now rule number two is saying I have to use a question mark at the end of any sentence. So absolutely, again, if I'm asking a question. So notice that if I want to ask, what is your name? So I have to write the question mark at the end of the question or the sentence. But the most important thing you have to be careful of, Malak, which is do not use a full stop with the question mark. Not only full stop, if you remember, and even comma, don't use it with the question mark. So notice that this is the correct one. I ask the question and add added the question mark but without writing the full stop next to the question mark okay now let's talk about rule three rule three is saying that the question mark replaces a comma if a quoted question ends in mid-sentence let's talk about these examples because absolutely uh, we have uh, some examples. So, if mm -hmm. a quoted question ends in the middle of the sentence, the question mark replaces the comma. Let's take a look mm -hmm. at this example. So, notice, can you help me? So, this is the uh, uh, um, question mark because it is a question. When adding the question mark, absolutely, I will not be able to write the comma after it. Because if you remember, Malak, when we discussed the rules of using the comma, I told you that you have to write a comma within the uh, quotation marks if the person who said the information is at the end of the sentence. But please be careful. <laughs> exactly. Because I'm using the question mark, I will not be able to use uh, the... Uh, uh. Yeah, exactly. Because don't forget that the next modules we have to discuss is write about the photo. I'm talking about the drawing book exam. We have, yeah. yeah, we have to write a complete uh, two uh, pieces of writing. So please, you have to be careful with any type of writing, even even if it is one sentence, Malak, absolutely, you have to punctuate the sentence correctly. So this is it. This is the correct one. If you want to say, is that Joe's cat? I wonder. So this is the correct one. Why? Because I cannot use uh, uh, um, I cannot use um, uh, the comma as I told you with the question mark. I wonder, that mean uh, I ask? Yes. Wondering is just a kind of asking. Mm. 
but you have to be careful about the shape of the question Malak. I, I mean I, I, I'm going to talk about that later because uh, maybe this is rule number five or maybe six okay now let's talk about this rule because this rule is really important this rule is saying how to use question marks with quotation marks because this is the hardest the students face especially with using the question mark with quotation marks let's talk about rule a rule a is saying put the question mark at the end of the quotation if it applies to the words enclosed by the quotation marks let's take a look at this example this example is saying Siwas asked can you come to my hockey game tomorrow absolutely this is a question so i have to add the or what the quotation the question mark but let's take a look at the next example before explaining the first example now rule b is saying if the question mark applies to the sentence as a whole then place it at the end of the sentence the example is saying do you agree with the saying comma time is money so this is a quoted words and notice that in the next example malak i wrote the uh, question mark out oh, uh, bravo the two yeah. quotation marks and here i wrote the question mark within the quotation mm. marks so please be careful because this is really important so if the quotation marks yeah. again apply to the words enclosed by the question mark absolutely the question mark should be within but if we notice that if uh, uh, the quotation mark applies to the sentence as a whole, then we have to place it at the end of the sentence, but it should be out of the quotation marks because I cannot use it here within the two inverted commas. Okay, now rule five is saying if or an indirect question ends with a period, not a question mark. Let's discuss this rule because you asked me about wondering. But before discussing the examples, let's read the information about this rule. When a question is direct, it's not indirect question because we said that uh, we have direct questions and indirect questions. Now, if the question is direct, you need to use a question mark at the end. A direct mm. question will often begin with one of these words, for example, who what, where, when, why, how, can, may, will, would, could. Now, when, mm. a question, when the question is indirect, you need to use a period at the end to indicate this. Absolutely, we have some examples. Notice the example is saying, which is the direct question, where does Bobby live? So notice, yeah, okay. exactly, this is the wh tool this is a question so notice mm. that i have to write the question mark but be careful when you have indirect question because i wonder where bobby lives so notice that this is not a question if you remember malak when we asked the simple present tense we said in asking the question in the simple present tense we have to use what do does but in asking the question in the simple past tense, we have to use did. Did, yeah. But exactly. So now to see, I don't have do, does, and did with the simple past. This is yeah. only the S with the name, with the singular yeah. name. So this is not a question. Not, I, I mean, not direct a question. You have to be careful. Okay? Uh, okay. Mm. Okay. The next example is saying, can my boyfriend come to the wedding with me? Absolutely, this is a question because I inverted the places of the subject and the verb because the normal sentence we have in the English language, we have to mention the subject ver first, the verb, which is the next one, the object, which is the last part. If I don't have an object, I have to write the rest of the sentence. But absolutely, if it is a question, I have to write subject to a verb subject i have to replace the places of the subject and verb because now to see this is the subject this is the verb and here okay. is the verb and this is the subject so this is why it is a question mm -hmm. okay 
So the next one is saying, she asked if she could bring her boyfriend to, to the wedding. Keep in mind, please, Malik, this is indirect speech. This is not direct mm -hmm. speech. If you want to have the full idea about direct and indirect speech, please watch the video on YouTube. I explained in details the using of direct and indirect speech. This is really important because keep in mind that this is indirect question, not direct question, because of that, I cannot write a question mark at the end of the sentence. Okay. 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 Now, uh, let me let me explain this for the fully understanding. Let's try to change this sentence to be a question. Now, we have to say she asked, can her boyfriend bring, or maybe bring her boyfriend to the wedding? So can, if you remember in the, I don't know if you have that full idea about the indirect speech and direct speech, because I have to go back one step behind in tense. So the original sentence is can. Okay? Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, 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 because it is can, and here we have if. We have to replace mm -hmm. if, if the question starts with do, does. Or maybe can, could, uh, uh, will, would. So, mm -hmm. because we have do, does. Now, in the indirect speech, I have to replace the do, does with F. Mm, okay. Okay. So, so, if we replace uh, if, uh, if could mm. by do or does, so we put... Uh, question mark. Yes, question you know mark. what? Yeah, yeah. I think I have to show you this rule. Wait. I know, I know. And let me show you the exact rule about this one, because this is indirect speech. It's not direct question. Let me show this rule to you fast. Um, let me open the file of um, reported speech. This is it. This is reported speech. And let me scroll down to the rule. I'm not going to explain the whole uh, lesson because absolutely we don't have time. You can watch it as I told you on YouTube. This is, this is absolutely one of the most important lessons in the English language. This is direct and indirect speech. Okay. okay. Let me go down to the uh, questions that start with do, does, did. Um, wait, I think it is, um, wait, no, no, it isn't. I think in part two, because in part two uh, here, yeah, this is about the questions. Okay, so we have direct and indirect the questions. We have a questions that starts with WH, but here it's not WH. Now let's talk about yes, no questions. And this is F. So notice that any question starts with have, has, had, do, does, did, uh, can, could, will, would, because it is a, a yes, no question, I have to replace it with F. So notice this one is saying, we asked Noor, have you bought a new book? This is a question. So because this is a question, I wrote what the question mark. But notice the indirect speech, I have to say we asked Noor if she had bought a new book. This is not a question. Absolutely, it's not a question. Now, the rule is saying because of that, we have to go back one step behind in tense because this is simple past. If I want to go back one step behind in tense, it will be past perfect. This is it. And I replaced the... Uh, a yes, no question. As I told you, if I want to start my question with do, does, did, have, has, had, I have to replace it with if. And exactly, I have to change the places of the subject and mm. uh, verb because here it's, it, it's a question. Here it is not a question. Okay, Malak? Okay. Again, please try to. Uh, this is what notice that yes, no question. Are you okay? So they asked us if we were okay. Oh, yeah. Exactly. So notice the you here. And wait, let me change the color. Notice this is the ver this is the subject. That is it. And this oh, is the yeah. that is it. Yes, we changed the places no, of the subject of the verb because it's not a question. And uh, we replaced exactly. We we added the F because it is yes and no question. 
so this is why you don't have to add any... yeah so the second mm. uh, sentence is like someone told us um uh, the situation uh, that happened exactly without asking the question okay okay and tell me khabir just uh, like yeah, that exactly <laughs> for example let me tell you something maybe you want to ask me this question teacher do we need too much time to finish this class now i want mm -hmm. to tell someone else if i want to yeah. tell someone else i have to say malak asked me if mm -hmm. So notice that I used if because it is yes or no question. Okay? Because you said you use the simple present. I have to use what? The simple past. Simple now past, I have yeah. to say, yeah. <laughs> now I have to say, uh, Malak asked me if we needed too much time to finish this class. And absolutely, mm, okay. this should be replaced with that. So I have to say with that class. Mm. By the way, please watch the video of reported speech or direct and indirect speech, because this mm. lesson is extremely important. So okay. this is the difference between direct question and indirect question. Why? Because it is indirect speech. Okay? okay. Mm. So the original uh, uh, question is, can we, for example, or can I bring my boyfriend to the wedding? Okay. okay? This is the direct speech. <laughs> okay. Now, Rule six is saying we generally use a question mark at the end of a question tag. Again, on the on YouTube within the channel, we have a video of question tags. If you want mm. to widen your experience, you can take a look at the question tags. You need the question tags, Malak, in speaking, absolutely, because there was something you have to know about. Oh, I, I did it. Ah, so this is it. Yeah. So if you want to use the question tags in writing, absolutely, you have to write a question mark because at the yes. end, the question tag is still a question. So Carlos yeah. speaks Spanish, doesn't he? This is a question Negative. mark. Oh, bravo, yeah. I have to write a question mark. So Carmen yeah. is sick, isn't she? You aren't a teacher, are you? This is a question yeah. mark because yeah. it is a question tag. So because it is a question tag, absolutely, I have to write the question mark it's not a normal sentence to write the full stop. This is the incorrect example. Okay? Mm, okay. So let's go to the next page. Now let's practice. Where do you think, or let me say, which of these sentences are incorrect? How are you? I'm okay. Um, uh, the first one is correct. Are you sure? Um, uh, well, uh, so we need... Uh, Mm -hmm. Okay, Malak, in typing, I mean in using the keyboard, don't don't finish Thanks. writing the question, then put the space, mm. then writing the question mark. This is wrong. Yeah. So there should be no space between the final word mm -hmm. in the question and the question mark. Yeah. Okay, this is number one. What about two? Should we go to the new restaurant tonight? I, I think it's uh, correct. Yes, if it is a yeah. normal sentence, I have to say we yeah. should go to the new restaurant tonight. Mm -hmm. Three. Um, uh, no, it's not correct. Yes, why? Because uh, they put uh, in the end of... Uh, exactly. I don't stop. need to stop. This is it. Thank mm. you. Four, you like cheesecake, don't you? Don't you? It's a question. question tag. Exactly. Yeah. I have to write the question mark, not full stop. Mm. So five... Uh, it's correct. It's correct, exactly. I don't have to use any comma after um, yeah. or next to the question. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes, the question mark. I wonder when the exam will be. I wonder. Um, was it's.
I think someone told us the situation that happened. Exactly. This is indirect speech, not direct but, question. Yeah. Exactly. So without, uh, yes. If it is a question, I have to say, I wonder when will be the exam? Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So please be careful because sometimes it is little confusing. Okay. Okay. So this is everything about the question mark. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask me. Mm, I know. Okay. So let's stop this video and meet again to discuss the next punctuation oh, mark. Okay. 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 I'm waiting for you.